Hi everyone and welcome to this series of videos on the Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK. In this video I'll be going over how to install the SDK and load up one of the sample projects. To get started we need to enable developer mode, so I head up to the options, go to general, developers and enable the developer mode toggle. Hit apply and save and then exit out of the settings. You should now see this toolbar up on the top of your screen. With that done we can download the SDK. So go to the dev mode toolbar and click help and the SDK installer. That will open up your web browser and start downloading it. That's finished downloading now and I've got the installer here. So if we open that up and click next and accept the terms and conditions. And then we can choose what components to install. You can just leave this at the default unless you need the Visual Studio or 3ds Max plugins. And then below that you'll see the install location. It defaults to the msfs sdk folder and that's on your C drive. Click next and then install. Ok that's finished so I'll just click finish and exit out of the installer. And then it's worth checking that the sdk installed correctly. So I'm just going to open up a file browser and go to my C drive. Got the msfs sdk folder here. And then we've got all the different parts in here. So we've got the documentation. I'd highly recommend giving that a read through. It's quite useful and tells you how to do many of the different things in the SDK. And we've got the samples folder, which contains some sample projects. I will be opening up one of these later to check that the SDK works correctly. And then we've got these other folders, schema, SIM connect, tools, and WASM. I'm just going to take a look inside the tools folder and bin. So in here we've got two EXEs, we've got the dev mode launcher, which allows you to start up the game a little bit quicker. Uh, it does this by skipping the intro videos. That's useful if you don't have the Steam version, so you can't just disable them through the Steam properties. In the future it does say they'll add extra options to this, but at the moment it just disables the intro videos. We've then got the package tool, which allows you to compile packages without having the game open. So with that installed, let's jump back into the sim and open up one of the sample projects. Okay, so we're back in Flight Simulator. And I know that the airport of the sample project is MYNN, so I'm just going to type that in and spawn in at that airport. Just check that it's the day, and then I'll click apply. Okay, so the game's finished loading up now. Let's use one of the developer features to take a look around at this airport. So if we go up here to camera and developer camera, we'll get popped out into an external view. The controls here are quite similar to the drone controls. So you've got W, A, S, and D for forwards, backwards, left, and right, R and F for up and down and the numpad for rotating the camera. You can also use alt and left click to orbit, alt and scroll wheel click to pan around, and alt and right click to dolly zoom. You've also got the scroll wheel for zooming as well. I generally just use W, A, S and D for my panning around. I orbit with alt and left click and then I zoom with the scroll wheel. That's what I find the easiest personally. So back to the sample project. If we open up dev mode and click on open project, you need to navigate to your SDK directory, open up the samples, simple airport, and then airport project text file. I'll give you two windows here, and I'm just going to dock these at the side by dragging them over here. In the project editor, we've got our package, and then my airport BGL and my materials material lib. So we want to click on the my airport BGL, that's the scenery project in this package, and then click load in editor. That'll pop us up to a top-down view and open a load of windows. I'm just going to close uh, the material editor and drag the senior editor over here to the right. So I zoom out a bit here so we get a better view. You can see we've still got the two runways here because they're defined up here in the senior editor. But everything else is gone from this airport. That's because it's not defined in this uh, scenery file. And that just shows that we've uh, properly loaded up the sample project. So that's pretty much it for setting up the SDK. We're now ready to start creating our own airports and that will be covered in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching.